We're going to get absolutely shredded. For the remaining recruits, each day brings a packed schedule. Are you missing Kane? I'm missing a fleece corporal. Where's your fleece gone? I miss every locker corporal. I beg your pardon? I miss every locker corporal. Why is a military kit in your civilian locker? Why? Never take it folded, corporal. Because you never had time to fold it. So you thought, oh fuck it, I'll mug her off. The drama is, I'm, I'm asking them to do simple things like make the bed, put laundry in, make sure you fill in your diaries. Seriously! I asked you to do one fucking thing and it was do that fucking list on the board that I had the kindness to fucking write on there for you lot. Well that's it girls, right now you've got me fucking raging! They're choosing not to do that, they're choosing to spend their whole time down the naffy eating pizzas, watching films. Mr fucking nice guy is not coming back! There's a fleece missing, there should be two fleeces there. But as I came in this morning, I realised that the two of them weren't matching. So I never think we make it to the match, I've took it out. Next, a... after a quick bit of food at the scuff house and having failed their inspections this morning, the recruits don't have long before a reinspection. Right, who's been kissing the bloody mirrors? Someone's taking a piss, aren't they? Just a couple. And the corporals have got wind of Facebook messages being sent between the male and female troops. Hi! Or have it been hovered. But we can find time to fraternize with the female troop. You were told no fraternization because it would bring the army in disrepute. We got our ass chewed by the troop sergeant because they used that. So you're fucking very out. Start and do my nothing. I've just went in there now and looking around. There's a hundred percent improvement from when I went in earlier. I'll find something else. And that's not me being a knob. That is me making them work as a team and making them realise how good they can be. Right, there's about an inch of dust all the way along the back of the skirting board. That's the best I've ever seen on a secondary show, ever.